All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, since Corey Sanhagen is fighting Umar Namagamedov in the main event for this weekend, I felt that it was appropriate to do a fighter simulation uh, between the two. So here we got Bantamweight selected. Um, I should actually do five rounds because it's a main event. Ultimate difficulty. Uh, I like to do energy settings set as simulation. I think it's the most realistic. So, let's see, uh, where is Corey Sanhagen? Here we go. In case you're interested in the stats, actually, let me select both of them so you can see them side by side. Uh, Umar, there he is. So we got Corey Sanhagen at 90 and Umar at 88. Uh, there are stats side by side. Jesus Christ, Corey is significantly faster and has way better footwork. But Umar has a much higher uh, grappling stats. I wish Corey's submissions was a little higher. But they're both pretty defensively sound. So, uh, yeah, this will be an interesting matchup. Let's see what happens. Uh, I don't know what arena they that they're actually fighting in. Let's just do... Yeah, let's do Bell Center. Any ref will do. Fiala Sunsa, set to enter the world famous octagon once again. Rafael Asuncao has a sick ground game with world class jujitsu. He's also very good on the feet and can really pressure his opponents with his punches and his kicks. Rafael Asuncao, fired up and ready to go. Making his way to the world famous octagon. Wineland comes from a wrestling background and he has knockout power in his hands. He's also got a lot of experience. He was the very first WEC Bantamweight champion, so he's been competing at this level for years. Eddie Wineland, ready to throw down and put on a show. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter. He stands five feet, five inches tall. Weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia. Umar Nurmagomedov! And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer and a wrestler. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall. Weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Chesterton, Indiana. He is the former WEC Bantamweight champion, Corey Sanhagen! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. All right, guys, this is for the UFC championship. I want a nice, clean fight. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Come on out fighting. Back to your corners. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are ready to get things started. Are you ready? Are you ready? Rafaela Sunsau, Eddie Wineland. And here we All right. go. As the two step into the center, let's see what they have. You know, I expect Corey Sanhagen to enter this fight with a huge striking advantage. Because, um, one, he's more battle-tested. Um, he's fought, like, former champions, had very competitive fights with them. He's on a bit of a hot streak. He's won, what is it, like, three straight? I know his last performance against Rob Font wasn't the most exciting, 
but I mean he he did literally tear his bicep in the first round and he still dominated that fight with just his wrestling alone um obviously Umar being the younger cousin of Habib is gonna have a very unique uh wrestling style that Corey probably isn't accustomed to um, and you know it's a big step up in competition for Umar too I know he's undefeated at 17 and 0, but you know Corey is number two. He's ranked number two in the bantamweight division right now. So um, it's kind of a title eliminator for Corey if he wins. It'll be four straight in a row, and you know unless uh, the title fight between the Rob and uh, was Sean O'Malley ends in some kind of controversy. He's most likely in line, uh, Two minutes remains in round given that he, if he can win this fight. I'm, I'm rooting for uh, Corey. I do want to see him fight for the championship, but, you know, you hear the name Nurmagomedov, and it's kind of hard to go against them, man. But, I don't know, man. We'll see. I think, uh... I think Umar's had the oh, problem. Oh, Corey, he drops him with a head kick. Can he finish him? He faints the punch. He's going in. Can that be it? Oh, Umar survives. Oh, Corey is freaking slick on the feet. First shot by Umar gets it. Corey is pretty crafty on the on the ground too, man. Pushes him off with the feet. Ooh, nice job, nicely away. timed takedown. He needed that. Round yeah, anyone with the name of uh, Nurmagomedov is likely going to be the, the favorite seems to appreciate a going to whatever fight they, that it is. That's all we need. It's just so hard to go against yeah. those guys, you know? I think, you know, Umar, at least stylistically, um, should be able to... He should have the skill set to beat Corey Sandhagen. But I, I am rooting for Corey in this one. And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. That was slick. Is this a head kick? Yeah, that's the head kick that dropped him been watching a lot of Corey Sanhagen's fights. Um, I recently watched his fight against Jan, and Jesus, man, like, sometimes I forget just how good Jan is, man, or how good he was, because Corey was on in that fight, and Jan just was able to make adjustments and win. This fight scheduled for five, five minute rounds. We've seen a lot of power shots getting countered by quicker strikes Ooh, here. Nice Mike. wrestling. You can throw bombs all day, but if you're getting tagged, ah, it's too eager to cast a guard, though. It'll throw you off over and over. Wineland's oh, Corey is looking a little fatigued here. This is Umar's chance to kind of close the gap, but he's just not doing it. He's probably a little tired himself, to be honest. Ah, uh, jeez, what we got going on here? Into half guard. Sorry, I just Butter now noticed guard. how, uh... Great job how my freaking reversal. green screen went. Jesus. Ah, well. He's in the full guard. Focus on the fight. Wow! He just tried to throw a kick from the bottom, man. Oh, tight. the freaking combinations from Corey, man. Inside leg kick. Corey's really looking to, you know, feel the deal. He wants to put the cherry on top with the highlight real knockout. Oh, he gets dropped, though. Oh, man. This is good for Umar. Oh, man. Dude, the AI for this game, like, the adjustments that they're able to make... So fun watching it on the highest nice difficulty. Oh my goodness. Everything flows so nicely, man. I love this game so much. I have spent many of hours in my childhood playing this game. 
And even in adulthood, I still find myself playing it. <laughs> I to get distracted. Hold on. Jesus, nice. It's just reversals after reversals with these two. Vicious ground and pound from the top here. Haymakers. He's inside control here. He's got half guard. He's in there the full mount, Joe. 30 seconds remains in the round. Corey's starting to gain control. Oh, Gets reversed. Reverse. Able to posture up. Surprised none of these guys have uh, gone for submissions yet. Escape, but he's unable to. Two rounds in the books. Three rounds to go in this UFC title fight. A superb display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going I don't know. The Let me round. know down in the comments who you guys are rooting for, or who do you think is going to win this. Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. It'd be kind of interesting to see how Corey to the ground, uh, handles Umar's speed. Right into the because Umar and is freaking fast for that, that division, man. Just I mean, most perfectly. of those fighters are, but... I, I forget who it was they knocked out, but, like, he... Like, hit him with, like, a left hook and a knee. Like, within, like, the same second. I'm talking about Umar. If I can, if I can find it, maybe I'll put like a little clip of it, so you guys know what I'm talking about. Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Brittany. Gotta remember to add that little clip at towards the end of uh, round two. Ooh, Corey is looking so fatigued right now, though. And we are set for Not good for him. This is a championship fight. Umar needs so to use his wrestling, work that body. Good sprawl by Corey. Hmm. Swing and a miss. Oh, beautiful hook. Oh. Yeah, you know, Corey might be tired, man, but he's nice still got leg. good striking. I think Umar needs to be a little patient here. He's got position. You don't want to lose it. I lost it. Oh, but Corey's so tired, man. He can't even get his offense going. I wouldn't be surprised if Umar throws up the submission here. Wow, Corey lets him up. Lets him How about up. that? I wonder if Corey. I wonder what kind of approach Corey's gonna take for this man. Because I know ever since that TJ Dillashaw fight, he is. Oh my God! Did you see that? He rocked him, or he knocked him down. Jesus. You just see so much more in this game than you, than you would in UFC 5, man. But the fact that he knocked Umar down and rocked him with another punch as Umar was still falling, that's crazy to me. And Umar throwing a freaking head kick while he was still on the ground. You just don't see these strikes in UFC 5, man. These sequences, it just, it's just not a thing in the latest EA game. Great reversal. This will forever be goaded as the greatest half MMA guard. game ever. Like, period. Working hard to try to get out of this bad spot. And back to full guard. Pushing his opponent away. Man, these guys still up. got two rounds, man, but they're like, exhausted. Especially Corey. It's just surprising because, you know, Corey's known for being the volume guy. Mm. Ooh, nice little body shot. Umar will definitely benefit from those. And we're going to round four. Rounds. How about that? Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. Right? You feel most of that guard. Bring out that combat. And you get I mean, it's been competitive, man. I know Corey's probably doing a bit more damage with the striking. You gotta bring something behind it. You gotta bring something behind it. Keep your elbow. Let's take a look at the replay from that it's round. Just Mike. experience, this was man. A beautiful counter. Unbelievable that knocked him down. Here. That rocked him. 
And he followed up and with the elbow, that man. That was so freaking smooth, so that whole sequence. Timed. Here comes the elbow. Boom. Oh, it was actually a straight. Good action that round, Mike. Listen to me. See, in UFC 5, whenever you knock someone down, there's always this, like, there's always this, like, small, like, I guess, like, pause before you can actually start uh, with your ground and pound. After you knock someone down, it's not seamless like this one, man. Oh, Corey's throwing, man, but he's got no power. He's so exhausted. This is where Umar... Umar can take over, man, if he can just muster up enough energy. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Corey is still dangerous on the feet. But is he going to have enough energy to carry him through the fight, man? Ooh, Corey goes for a takedown. Interesting. But yeah, like... What I was saying so earlier, I know that Corey has worked diligently control. on his takedowns, or just his wrestling in general, ever since his fight with TJ Dillashaw. Because a lot of people felt guard. like he should have won that, but, you know, TJ was able to kind of steal the decision just based off of uh, his wrestling. Because there were some positions where Corey was just, uh, three minutes now. he was content with just giving up the position, just because he uh, felt like he was doing more damage. But at the time, the uh, the judges still favored control, you know, over, Look I guess, striking that here. night. Ooh. On, Ever since then, man, his wrestling has improved drastically. You've seen it in his fights against, uh, nice. Oh, ooh, nice knee. Nice knee, nice knee by Corey. God, both these guys are so exhausted, but they're still trying to push a pace. He jumps guard. He's in full guard. Interesting. He pulls guard. You've definitely seen the strides that Corey has made in his fights against uh, Marlon Vera and uh, Rob Font. Pushes him off with the feet. He's able to defend, and even his offensive wrestling, man, he's just had so many new wrinkles to his game. He shoots in. Good sprawl. We are. We might actually get to the fifth round. It's crazy. Oh my God, Umar with that freaking kick from the bottom, man. He's down. He's got double butterflies in here, Mike. And that is the end of round number four. Solid action to take us into the fifth. Yeah, these guys are showing why they're at the top of their division. Good boxing, good wrestling, good jujitsu. I'll be honest, man. I did not expect it to go this far. I thought one of these guys would have been finished by now. You gotta take it to him. You can dump him, control him. He's going up the cage, okay? You gotta come back. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action nice here, Mike. Knee. We saw a number of knockdowns. I would say Corey's probably head in this fight, to be honest. And some incredible power on that shot here. Just connected but perfectly. But if Umar can get something together, man, I don't know if Corey's going to have enough energy to defend himself. The incoming shot. Nice little uppercut there, too. But that head Good kick, man. There, that's... Mike. <laughs> that. I love that hey, so much. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. The beautiful Shandella Final gets round. set for round number five. Are you ready? Are you ready? Both these guys are tired, but it's going to come down to who wants it more. We are set for the fifth guys fight and final round of this Mark. UFC title Taking him down immediately. Ooh. He caught the kick. Wow. Did you see that? I love these transitions, man. Catches it. Catches the leg, he immediately goes to side control. That's amazing. The position, to the full they thought of so much when they made this game, man. They really did. Can only imagine the amount of man hours it takes to create a project like this. 
like the fact oh, that they had to like sit down and think like hmm like what like what can away. we do as far as like each position he goes right like how do we animate this you know how do we incorporate it Truly inspiring, man. Man, no one can get anything going. Like, sure, it lands, but it just has no power. I don't know, man. Corey might take it just based off of damage alone. Oh, big hook. Awesome. Corey just digging deep despite having no energy. Two minutes now remains in the fight. He gets a clinch here. He's really landing those short punches. Imagine inside, if this Mike. fight actually goes to distance. 90 seconds remain. Oh, I don't know if that was the best move for Corey. But what do I know? He just reversed him. Just what do over I know? a minute remains. Under a minute remains in the fight. Oh, he mounts him. Less than a minute left, man. Or he might actually take this if he can just hang on, man. Or he might get him out of there, man. Umar has taken quite a bit of damage in this fight. Wow, we might actually make it to the final round, the final bell. Wow. That was a pretty darn good I would fight. not have that expected awesome that. Fight. Did not expect that at all, man. I thought, I surely thought someone was going to get finished. But let's look at some of the replays. Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. Here we see the fight get taken to the ground. Steps right into the strikes. And I'm thinking Corey took it just got purely based off of damage. Right on target. Right here, we we see got that several knockdowns during the fight. Land. And sure, Umar had his moments too, but I'm pretty the sure it's uh, Corey that's going to take this this soon. And here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 49, 46, 49, 46, and 49, 46. Declaring La Gagnon and the winner by unanimous decision. And now, the new UFC Bantamweight Champion of the World, Corey Sanhagen! Eddie Wineland captures the UFC Bantamweight Championship. Man, yeah, he had to dig deep, man, but he earned that. He definitely earned that victory. Good for you, Corey. Risk of copyrighted music. Oh, I like this song though. Too bad you guys can't hear it right now. But yeah, looking at the stats, man. Corey just had more volume. Um, guessing just a little more variety. Dang, twenty takedowns attempted. And just a man, superhero. Oh man. This song, it's giving me such nostalgia. Let's see. Yeah, he managed to get four knockdowns during that fight, too. Good fight, man. Alrighty, guys. That's it. That's what I got for you today. Um, I will be rooting for Corey, even though I think Umar is probably going to win based off of his wrestling alone. Um, let me know down in the comments who you are rooting for, who you think is going to win, and I'll see you all in the next one.